alternative dig talk real issues real talk looking for a pair of shoes Let's Hub Stores has a wide range of selection for unisex footwear. We have the best quality of all brands at pocket-friendly prices and we make deliveries countrywide. Just plus your order or oh, reach us on 0772-080090. You can also check up at Let's Hub Stores on all our social media platforms. Let's Hub, craft your own footprints. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Today's edition of the Mighty Drive. Uh, the date today is 20th of uh, February. The year is 2023. I welcome you back uh, from uh, this uh, particular weekend, obviously, from you know the long week that had uh, a Valentine's Day. Uh, for those of you, obviously, who celebrate, that does not include me. My friend here, Farid, is going to tell us how that went. If uh, there were flowers delivered or mm -hmm. if she was there, <laughs> she counted the day as usual as I did. Uh, but you're welcome to this edition. My name is Roger Suryawe and today we have, we're going to have a discussion around uh, civil society and what role they are playing in a nation building. But before we get to that, we want to go through some of the information and the news that has been happening around and with us in community and around the world on a number of issues that is also important in the sense that we also get to understand what is happening and that probably informs how we go about our particular activities every single day. Now I'm going to begin with some new story before Farida comes. Uh, a story that uh, I find interesting and then uh, I'll ask for her to say a lot to you but also to comment on it. Now apparently there was a research that had been uh, undergoing since 2007 and uh, they found that uh, Ugandan maize, sorghum, groundnut and a number of you know grains kind of uh, food uh, contain aflatoxins, some sort of tox toxins that apparently causes cancer. Mm. So they found that most of the Ugandan maize are even way above the recommendation of the World Health Organization. And that research had been uh, done by the NARO, NARO is National Agriculture Research Organization. Yes. 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 So apparently, Ugandan, those sort of food types have aflatoxins and they're going to be causing cancer. Now, if you realize, most of the Ugandans, especially since most of us are on the lower side of the pyramid, uh, use posho as a staple food, which comes from maize. Now, mm -hmm. if maize obviously has those toxins, it obviously will be also found in portion. Mm -hmm. They also mentioned that even if you roast the maize or even cook it, it doesn't kill the toxins. So that is the scary part. That Literally, makes everyone the no candidate to cancer. Yes, exactly. So I wanted you to, you can officially now say good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come into that one. The findings are worrying. Uh, no single person would really want to be a, a possible yes. candidate to cancer, cancer yeah. because we have seen those who have suffered from cancer, the, the pain that they go through. So I think they should have come out with that report. You see, when you come out with a report, you should be giving recommendations. Yeah. What should people do? Should we say we, we are not growing maize anymore? Should we say they, uh, they take off all the posture that is, that is in circulation mm -hmm. so that people don't buy it? What exactly are we going to do? Because now... Uh, the droughts that are in the country, yeah, we yeah. have food shortages that the prices are up there and, and then you come out with such a report that it is really worrying to mm -hmm. the population. And then we really hope they give out the, the recommendations. What should we do? Should we just hang or just go? <laughs> <laughs> you obviously cannot hang. <laughs> Someone died 
uh, trying to uh, imitate Jesus, to emulate him, the 40 days. Yeah, 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 the man was fasting. Without <laughs> food power. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, why are people tired of living? Like, how can you just say, I am going to emulate? People are uh, desperate. <laughs> a very good morning to whoever is watching us on the Wotan TV. Digitalk, you can find us on the Wotan TV Uganda Facebook page or Digitalk TV uh, on both, page, both pages. Please comment in, give in your idea, ask your questions. We shall be... Uh, asking those to our guest that is going to be here in a few minutes. It's called uh, Council Akuziwe Adolf. We are going to be discussing the role of civil society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just remembered I'm talking English. Because I am a youth, I always implore youth to go and work because I know what it means. Njagala mugende mukole tuyigo kwe imiriza nga toyina go imiriza deko to go kubelanga kasente yakakuyimiriza okako as in it is your own it is your sweat gwaka kolerede niwe kaba katono there is a way to give satisfaction ngo kozeseza kasente ko okuba akone chokola there is a way while you sasu deko karenting akasente chitufu kavu dem two years you sleep as if for a nyumba wajiguze was sasu de just for 30 days na yeka ina satisfaction eje kakuwa ku matima so ataka sente ako tika kitogenda kufuna mira ko money Limba Muchach, there is no miracle money. They are getting a killer of Macha who is a million in town for Simon Gatazina, the Zivud, then and Nazi seen the Setaz Manigo as you were day. So for you get miracle money, there is no miracle money. Ata abamu neba funa mira koma ni kabaka amu tualo na yini kona akuwe simu na gamba bima dance ni kila mulo dance kwa ni kasi tika ngi bima dance. Bongo na baba bika zili. Baba bika zile kala zaka na ano tualo yangu mbili. So it is very important that you get to call it that you know my medium. Gain of no more what of no water and the It is always important of funa water and the kid. Kobanga and Aku Omelim Taganda Kosanga Kazigoko. Some of us sleep very deep more air your mobile ghetto. Akatia again of Omelim Taganda Kosanga. And by the way, dress properly, be smart. When I walk one ballo of loon, Jinga told you smart. When I to be this smart, we are boy in a sat your jigolole. Nikola jiti ya chukwa ambazo ulugoyo ulutali ugololi. Wabawi nakatete hiko kubono ubode haga. Wabawi mtu alo. Kagolole kalabike bulonji. Ateno mnango funenge jewe packaging. Gabulonji nyaba na bagala. Tuigo kwa ambalo bulonji katukenda offices za bantu. Not everyone is looking, is really interested in looking at your body. It is a turn off for them. So why are you showing them your body? To recover in Gabulonji. Nyo mwili gogoko mire bao. To recover in Gabulonji nyo. To gende to save a mirim. Let's go out there and seek for jobs. A mirim jezi. Na ita jige na kono onya. You should go and look out for those jobs. O chimanyi nchi waliyo genze komu kampani. Nga chibana wansi nga kwa jobu vacancy. Na ini bambi. No presenting Gabulonji. Musanya na gamba. I will keep you around. Na kuwa na kuleka wo Nenga taya ta na wo singa kombo Ba ina vahati position So but sometimes Yom kisaguli ya yugo kuli indi indi Go out there and grab And grab it Go and grab your opportunity Tegugi nda kusa anga waka And most of those opportunities by the way now Especially in recent times Even when they announce Most times they will probably Hire people they know Yeah they have already announced within Oh ha By the time by the way announcement goes out Exactly It has been through Through the staff And the staff have recommended the friends and the relatives Exactly So one What I wanted to add to what Farida was saying is To make sure that you make connections Make friends Guys go out Meet people Speak to them Whatever Find something in common Speak about it And it's very important Even if you have a job Eventually that person might be important in the job you have yeah. or for your delivery. Or even if this one ends, you might have an opportunity next time. Mm -hmm. So it's important to go out there and make uh, friends, let me tell you, and especially p people who are in sort of professional spaces yes. who you know that they, they can always give a recommendation or they at least know someone somewhere that can mm -hmm. place you. Now, because you know, we're into video, we're into money. People, people are graduating here. Yeah, people skills is because Abba never graduated. Abba, the people have school, they have qualifications. But when people want experience, so should you go out? If you don't have a job, you can try start by volunteering, and then maybe that will grow. But even if it does not, even if you don't get the job at the place, there are chances that at least you have the experience, skills. 
Ya because so, tuwa ye wakane tukola courses inga. Mchikachi ya uh -huh. mweteri ya liyaba deko. Ratu <laughs> wadi. Eh, kwe, katugeze so miya maulile. Mchikachi ya mwete mwete langa mko muna maulile. Temufu nanga kwa mkwano gwa mwenga muna maulile. Oba kola kutivi, oba kuredio. Gwa sose. Katibu oba gwa sose. Chiku kakata kukole mikwano. Yeah. Yeah, because the Mikwano is the one who is connecting. Because the Mikwano, you are the first one, you are actually the Jesus of the, of the of whole the clan. Family. Whole clan. <laughs> yes. Not family. Not My family. Clan. <laughs> whole clan. So, I was talking about the Gambanti. I was talking about the Kazinu mm. Angelia. I was talking about the Kazinu Tewali, you do not have anyone. Kati ya chikuwa katako nyokole ya mikuano. Genda mspese zo muliba na maulide. Ezo, uh, na ze tutegeka osobolo kubanti okole ya mikuano. Yeah. Mweje ya mikuano mjetu kola mwe. Mwe connections. Because no one is going to connect you. Man, every, everything is about friends. Let me tell you. Who is going so, to connect you? Exactly. They don't even know you exist. Even they if don't you even are so you. good. Exactly. Someone doesn't know you. You you are very good. But even if, if you are good go and start by volunteering yeah. so that will also give you the opportunity to show your skills mm. so if there's a placement the next time there are chances you'll be one of the first priorities True. so that is also positioning yourself so man let me tell you you need to go out so especially for <laughs> youth yes monday to monday for sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there are people who are <laughs> in the same places forever. <laughs> exactly. Same circles. Yeah. Same circles. Mwaka <laughs> kumwaka. We talk to you, Sam. We'll be there like, for me, I have no friends. <laughs> you'll be there. And there are chances you, don't, you actually don't have friends. But make efforts to have them. It, well, it's, I'm not saying it is bad to have your circles and <laughs> friends and all that. But, but there are also limitations to what the same people can do for you. Because there are chances if you're in the same circle, you might face the same problem. There are chances you also fa face similar issues. So if you don't have people outside that circle, it, man, you have certain chances of stalling along the way in case something goes, uh, and as not, if things goes not as planned. Yeah. So I think it's important. But even if, if when you get people from outside, there are chances they also help you where you are. I don't <laughs> that is personal. No, to call me Mikwan, I think that's sorry. Mikwan, you know, I think that's sorry. Wabela ya Mikwan, unga tajigenda, unga tajigenda kuya mbakuono ne kawa kuono na, unga tajigenda kugzimba. It's just to call me Mikwan, I think You might have your friend, na yenga tayina chasubala kuya mba. Nenga Mikwan, you go out there and, and and make a friend. Nenga Bambi. Yet I know you call it a magazine, you just have a good taco. I don't know, you will probably be they are there for you when you are down or something like that. Friends are important in different ways. There are those who are good professionally, there are those who are important in family relations, there are those who are personal. They probably won't add anything, they probably don't even have money, but they are there when you need them. They give you some you know, advice here and there and stuff. Maybe I'm just staying positive. I, I remember <laughs> seeing a story of one woman who left her husband's house, and when she left, she went to a friend's house. Mm -hmm. And the friend was like, Don't go back unless he comes here and he begs you. You cannot just go back if he hasn't come. You don't even call him, even when he calls, don't pick. So you see such friends. Okay, yeah, yeah, so now they it, are, they are friends it are takes a month, yeah. the man calls, calls, calls. The woman doesn't pick because they expect him to come to, and kneel. To come and kneel and beg for the lady. After two months and now, this, <laughs> <laughs> this one is realizing she needs her man. She goes back when the man has moved on. Ah, yeah, yeah. Like yes, I am not dating, but I don't, I don't think I. I am really not interested you. in you anymore. Yes. Your importance doesn't no longer add any. No longer add any value to me. <laughs> so I don't need you. <laughs> so let me tell you, don't give that advice to my wife. I will certainly not come and kneel for you. Thank you. You don't kneel for, for women. <laughs> no, I can. Depends on the situation, but not that one where you feel like I must first come and kneel. I can apologize. <laughs> that is understandable. I can apologize. People make mistakes. If I have wronged you, I will certainly come and apologize. But if you make it a condition, it's, if it's more about the ego than it is about the issue that is between us, mm. then really you're not the person who should be, I should be doing the rest of my life with. So yeah. if you, you need to, to mature to understand that, look, people make mistakes, they do this and that, things go wrong. Yeah, and you need to be mature be enough to, to 
sense uh, the advice that some people exactly, give you yes. and you know when yeah. alabika njagaliza no tanjagaliza amonto mu abamba bakusekerera abamo basikanga te babitegeza so it is it is always very important okumanya nti one kitu for advice jampa de nyamba eno te nyamba no kudda yo ku story ya naro Naro needs to come out and give us solutions, give us way forward. Yeah. What should we do? Akaunga to Kakungute, you know, Kasengeja. So, what are we going to do? Because Akaunga Ketulia. Tetugenda kugama, tetugenda kalia, tetugenda liya lumonde from Monday to Monday. What, what I, was, well, I was reading that story and I was thinking about one thing. Nowadays, we have moved from the traditional way of farming to sort of industrial yes. kind of farming, mm. where we use fertilizers, we use, like, we have aids to make sure that the, the, those uh, plants Bekula are mangu. You see, so I have a feeling that some of the reasons why this thing has become toxic is because of the fertilizers and stuff that people put in, for the, in the process of farming. So I, I was thinking, I did not see a recommendation. I hope they are making a report mm. to give us recommendations. But uh, uh, as I think as an individual, is that yes, it is good that we have enough to market. It is important that we are not just working for each other, Chonka, like President mm. Seven said, <laughs> that we're also working f to sell and, and, and grow our livelihoods. Mm. But it's also important to understand the implications of some of those things, to know that if we want more, we should look at what are the implications and try to do it safely. Yeah. So I think people should also pay attention to the impacts and effects of those fertilizers because they definitely have an impact, they have an effect. So make sure that whatever you're using, you know the implications or try at least to, to mitigate. Yeah, try to, yeah. To, make, to make it better. If that doesn't work, you can try to do things traditionally. Plant your plants, irrigate them, they will grow in due time. So to me, I, I, that is my only advice because I have realized a lot of people who really need to be able 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 to because cancer is something that is very chronic and mm. something that rarely heals. Yes. So there are chances you will die if you get cancer. Obviously, you will die when you get cancer. But, but we will all die. We, yes, we will, but we are not trying to speed up our death because we will die anyway. <laughs> so I think uh, government has to find a solution. I don't think I have a solution to that because those that are in circulation, I don't know how you get them out. Because people, even if nobody says that we cannot export that food, People will always feel like I cannot make a loss, I put so much into this. So they will sell it in the local markets. Yeah. And you realize this problem now is both social and economic. Because it means we cannot be exporting them, mm. but it also means we cannot eat them. So there is only one way to ban or do whatever that is. Mm -mm. So the doors, our government has to find a solution in that regard. But to mitigate effects going forward, try to regulate how much fertilizers get into the country. Yeah and how much people use fertilizers to grow food. Kubanga na yu ogamba anti evi ntu babisule katolo musu uvuze ya stockings. Chige nda kwa fekiti nga bantu banji. And I don't really believe that they are going to say evi ni msaculation evi. Bagenda ku, of course bagenda kubitu nda bive. And it's not that nena regenda kubayo ni solution evi viable like in case. Uwolo tuka kumutu wa wansi. E yizu okuja ya solution but it will be... Because kati abali miyave na kuzino batu kolera nyo ku fertilizers. Because they want quantity. Ateba agala quantity. Nti omutu yali miye eka bidi na ya zidja mwe chintu chintene nye cha eka zinga kumi. Kati yorwe nso nge yo siro wazati evi. So anyway, katu sabe kale vikole. Let's wait for them and see what solution we can do. The situation is scaring. The research is scaring. Now, because I, as, I was looking at it, uh, man, I was, I was scared myself <laughs> because that is something really a lot of people spend on posho for as a staple food. No, you cannot. The avoid very lowest earner yes, lives on posho. You can't avoid food. Yeah. And now, so, ginats. And ginats. Literally, the, the food that is for. So, on material levels, is a aflatoxins or the vulgar cosiva mukulima over one of the processing. Now, you can get a jibagam yet, never more. 
Tavam. Tavam, then Biva move. Ita, it yeah, it has something to do with yeah. Yes, nga to visi, to lima, nga, uh, well growing up. So it Nae, grows with it. It grows with these yeah, phototoxins. Na ye. Katusabe government ye kole. Ola baba baga na kujawo edagali tato kiri de katale ni yodi kole. Yes, substandard. Yes, substandard medicine. Kweri, nga atenga to inesu. And they know. And, and they, they have even made research. They have said, look, this is bad, but it is still circulating. It is still circulating. Katu yorowe buze akawunga. Already a kali processing a kali already kasatulating them bantu. I think kaja bija tu kosa economically nti tesho la kovi kovi furumia na iwani eno muyoga na tujia sigala tu mudiya because nza kagula I don't know nti kaina ne afrotoxins bantu tetu mani. Singe kore chini kare tu gambe tu inzo kujia kuhusu manipulation ne e regulate inge kat moving forward fertilizers zingira. I think. Ungabafu de kola zino reports ba ba funo abu de ba gende wansi kuba tuabali mi abo mchalo ba ba boli de ovozi bo boli mukozi sa fertilizers zino ba boli de ingeli kozi fertilizers zichono na muetaka ne zichono ne bili me because yoli achi kozi sa yandi banga tachi mani yenga no nyakuba na si nimi do yenga da bika bulungi nyo adi oli mi eko nimi do yonga kali da bika bulungi that is the way you get that satisfaction in your heart and like I have the best <laughs> I have the best. So osangant na boba kuli na competition na ako na gina na gule bintu wano container village wano kan access na gina na gula bi fertilizer za gula weed master ya gale ni milo ya vide cleaning ya tebi mudo so no osangant ya tebi koseza ya bintu bi asimbi I think by no kolo guwa msomo kwe guinzo tu ya mba kuko otherwise wana regulating no regulating bichia ya bi ingira kongere ya fertilizer za vino bichia bichia ya 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 nensi go jetufuna by the way nensi go Zetu wasi maa kasoli lini nga kasoli Nga alwa onyo Nekati yele kasoli waka kati Bube era bumpi buwebuti Nga bote seke misoli Ebidi 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 So yu sanga Osange ni mio yomu ntu Nga e kasoli ya kubia kwa kati So nensi gojeba wabalimi Sometimes naro ya gaba nga kasoli Yonge mule tanga Orede ba mte seke ebidi dagala dagala Nga unya uvi nyo Era na evi nye wabia naro Temuvili ya vino vya tuli evi nye wanga babi simba Orede ba baba vili te seko de dagala So nenaro na ye ino kubanga Ye kula munyo umulimu Abantu Ne ministry yo Ne ministry ya agriculture Na ye sobolo kubanga ate Tuchusi za muko koko Tuvude kunaro tutuwala awalala Ndala, the medics are striking again today. Nera. Apparently, these ones are called SSH, Senior House Officers. So apparently, I tried to write down what that means because I did not know who a Senior House Officer is. But they are starting an industrial action. That is a fancy way of saying of calling it a strike. It's just a strike and a fancy name of a strike. They are starting an industrial action starting today. Uh, the senior house officers are qualified senior medical doctors, mm -hmm. apparently undergoing postgraduate work study training to become specialists in particular fields. Okay. And most of them are the ones who head mm -hmm. most of the referral hospitals. I was seeing uh, Ngabaga Amanti, almost over 60% of the uh, medics in each of the referral hospitals are those senior house officers. Okay. We were training our medical mm -hmm. interns, we were training our students, we were training our uh, those fresh, fresh uh, doctors out of uh, trainings and mm. all that. So in Bagamba, they have not received their pay since November of last year, and some of them since October. So they are laying down their tools today to demand for their to pay. demand for their pay. Especially about people who carry out operations, people who do delicate stuff. They are the ones they are not paying for this long. You can never understand the impact of this. No game. I remember when my mom was closing up Lambwe. And the doctor was there in his office and he was like, we are not working, we are on a strike. As in he was in his office and he wasn't attending to any patients. Because they were on a strike. And they were on a strike for months. I remember. Tetuli mukola 
probably because they they have laid down the laid uh, down their laid, tools. Yes. like they are going to do to like that going to do or mana wana losing all so you know now the impact of uh Russian government tesa sula basawa now yeah and nothing got on got on a better my situation i want to get a gamba now about to tell me jim baby i'm so bad striking jim baby i'm so bad striking unless someone has been impacted no but okay well that is one way of looking at it they have probably so we have always given this argument of they have sworn, sworn an oath to protect and, and defend life that but kind they of, have families they have a life to they have them. lives yes i have never had uh, army officers striking they may they may not necessarily receive so much money yeah, but they receive it yeah. in time that is the same they should be doing even with these people. Okay, they are demanding for raises. That can always be discussed. But but even the little they have, please pay them in time. There are diff uh, uh, delicate sectors that you cannot play around with. You cannot play around with people's health. Yeah, it is a very wrong measure. It, you don't know how it pains to go to a hospital. And you know, again, the medicine is probably even there, the specialist is there, but they will not do anything because they are on a strike. And you lose someone in that sense. Mm. That is very painful. Now, you know, the government is going to be able to do something. I, I where should be the problem? Should we say government is better innocent? I think government has money. I, so I no longer exactly want to have that discussion of government doesn't have money. I think government has money. What but I it think just doesn't is, want to be. It has wrong priorities. Mm. Very wrong priorities. And it has people who are corrupt and who the government has uh, given a blind eye, decided to look the other way, and people are going on eating people's money. So, uh, uh, taxpayers' money. Mm. Because let me tell you, we may not pro exactly uh, gather so much money yeah. in our revenue and taxes, mm. but the money we have, if it were utilized very well, we had opportunities of at least having up some basics, at least some basics we would have. But not this kind of magnitude. You cannot have people who are senior medical officers in the country, who are very few, by the way, for that matter. I, re I read about the referral hospitals, I think we have. Uh, the Kampala, is it uh, Barra, Bale? There were like about six or seven uh, that I read in that uh, 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 news bulletin. Mm. And, and they have a, a total of about 690 something senior house officers. I mean, 600 in a whole country of about over 40 million people. <laughs> So you can imagine the, how few they are, yeah. but still they are not receiving the pay. So I, can, you can, I cannot really go with an argument of government to innocent, because they are not very many. Should we say government raising a sentence is ending up on Mikono Jaba Tabacha? Either I said, yes, it does. I, I think that is literally the only uh, you know, conclusion. Kuvanga sita gira wachi abantungawa, and they don't get so much money, they get 2.5. Not the government prioritizes the security. In security, it is good, good. We say in three, no, we are safe. Yes, so I, I, I agree. Security, security is important. Singer. I agree. Security is important, but you cannot take security in isolation of other things. We cannot grow on security alone. People need to be healthy. The economy has to also be working. Mm. There has to be enablers for the country to also grow. We cannot grow on security alone. I understand. Security is important. Yes. If someone is going to invest in a country, they want to feel that it is safe to invest there, yeah. that their pro assets are protected. Mm. That I understand. But it's also there are a lot of other enablers for the country to grow. So you cannot only prioritize uh, security at the expense of all the other sec sectors. So they know that they need to, to, to streamline and make sure that they, our expenditures are in sync with things that aid our development as a country. The twins. They said about how it is important to have security. That the twins are not going to be afraid of accidents every single day. They are not afraid of accidents. You are protecting death from an external invasion, mm. but the death is happening internally on things you can obviously you know avoid. They are not afraid of accidents. 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 They
So should we so, say nti bana baso baba denga tebali teba complaining and complaints ziba dete zituka. Ediba kulu waba releasing a sentence ino? I, I think that might have been the, the issue. But either by the time four months go by, there are chances they have had some talks with some of their seniors. But obviously, there is always Mugumikirize, Mugumikirize, which is fair. Nichitegez and Bawudia Limira strike. Exactly. Like Ngaba and Taba Singa Vachogera. Nava medical interns, they be able to see where they go. Literally, the only. The number of striking and the Vamanian Vagamba and Sajono, Kalituba Devavio, Vine Tuokuma, Nava Vachogera, 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 <laughs> not to sound primitive, but I think that just like government has monopoly of firearms for avoidance of abusing them and consequently killing people, I think I wouldn't mind government having monopoly of supplying such fertilizers since some citizens are too much profit oriented. Mm. Okay. I will sort of disagree, respectfully. <laughs> Here is why. Mm. This is why the security is nature. Okay, it is a whole story about uh, behind the GMOs. Yeah. And it is very powerful. It is read by powerful institutions in the world. So it is deeper than just the discussion we are having here. And I cannot start all of that. It will take two hours to mm. explain. But, but uh, most of it is, is really about having the uh, hegemony over the market mm. of food. When you have fertilizers and people do not have the safe, those, those seeds, mm. or the market is not safe, or the market is not safe, or the market is not safe, or the market and it was coming out. But when you have fertilizers, it means they cannot do without them. So that means the people who make fertilizers are controlling what food you produce, yeah. how much quantity you can produce, and that means they have control over the food security every country has. So if you say that a, 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 a state should uh, co uh, be the one to supply the to fertilizer, and to, su to supply, yes. there's regulating and supplying. Mm -hmm. Supplying means they are still going to be in circulation, only the, the, this country, the state is not going to be supplied. That is if they are, they are safe fertilizers anyway. Ne, what are fertilizers? Is it only the Impact. I, I have no knowledge of that, but every time there is something, there is obviously an effect to it. Everything comes with an effect. It's anything that is not natural has an impact. The assertion is that you can't get a lot of So, you can't get a lot of money. 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 So, Farid, it is, it is, it is, how long is, is, is the earth? You can't get a lot of money. How long is the earth? You can't get a lot of money. Because when you were 20 years ago, the land was fertile. Eh? Now it is infertile because the record be in 20 years. Uh, well, it is a whole discussion. Now actually, Nanti katika katuga America lili ya yunonese. Ntuba denga tulitie kakwe bijimusa. Ntisa yano wo simba konga toi na chijimusa. Terikola. Terikola. Uh -huh. I remember meeting some uh, lady ya tugamba anti etaka liba kole deko, liba liba deba teka me bijimusa. Likutuwa lide miyake mila le etanu kukumi okubanga lida wo okubanga mm. kunacho nti osobo kusimba ke chirime. Nechikulanga ne, ne toko sisi za fertilizer. Nechikulanga toko sisi za fertilizer. Mm. So kati you can imagine okumotu wali nde five years. Habake nda kulia mwusa woye for, for the next five years. Ngali nde taka li nde vuto. Na yu na huli de ya bagamba mnebi kajo vyo nune taka. I think cash crops ze tuli mkulima. Mm. Na zi ina impact ku, ku, ku taka li ya fi. Getuli mida ku. But all... Nairo mtu wabata ina chakola because in siya yu nune se economically everyone is looking for her. For, yeah, yeah, I agree. So you cannot tell someone alime mwanyi. Ya mwanyi ziru hao kutuka. Okula, or moto mm. gambati as, as well again and a Najako or Natun. At ever nay, Bullish into a children's process and Yin Chitama, a Chitabam sent a man. Chitua Jiruao. Chiruao Chitama, <laughs> Zemu Buddha, Jiruao Genoclanti, Abana over so my every year. Negoli may manning, it is your sole source of income. The process is so long <laughs> for even people to 
nsawo tano mulonde genda no gayo kila satu kila tano kati wona akunganyizo weze nsawo satu ezikaze ogizitwa lo zitunde process eba pamu mm. bwe banja leba yabatta anga bwana bo bwako nziba <laughs> so ngo mtu asobola genda na alime nyanyaze na bala myeze satu na manyaze the next the, uh, fourth month ngenda na kasero i think i think then the those are i do not think continuing with fertilizers is a good solution because eventually it will also wear out over time maybe it takalija kwanga na it has had so much of it and there are chances maybe it will not be as productive as yes, it is now yeah, sure. too much of that mm. so uh, uh, it is just postponing the problem in a way so then you know, what the, the government can only do is they try to 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 teach people the, the the safer practices i have an organization i used to to volunteer with when i was in university it's called the alliance for food sovereignty in africa it's a continental organization mm. and they have a, a branch of their uh, a part of their work is about uh, something called agroecology yeah. now agroecology means you, you you can use the technology but you use it in tandem with the natural traditional way of doing stuff mm. so that bobanga for example you you're doing you in, in, in Okay, so I'm going tractors, machines yes. to grow, which is okay. Mm. Try to to plant in a traditional way that is friendly to the environment yeah. and to the soil, yeah. so that way you get the output, enough output, but safer output also. So you work both ways. It about, they are not saying that you should you should completely abandon the technology and do the traditional way, whole whole after whole. No, you try to use the technology, but try to use it safely mm. and make sure that you, 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 you sustain the, the fertility of the soil, but you also get the production that you, you need, you desire. So I think the government needs to do some sort of uh, education. Yeah, I think you better also miss our You could have a to take to put some measures in place. You, you, have, you need information in this area that is safe, that is going to deliver. But you, you have food security, but you have the land that is safe enough for you to for the next cycles of production. Well, about to find food scarcity, scarcity one is away. Mm, that's clear. Teban na re, teban na be, you get ingo ba chimu che ba jamu katale ndi chunte much cause. Kadi imagine inga ba gambi abantu. Teri kudamu kosa fataliza. Imagine the full production again o kubwe irawo vis a vis the demand. Mm. All your polar angel of where we were, my back to Uganda one. What is the Kwasi money? And I've never got back to by importing. What you all did, the cooking chair go over it as any. I had, I don't think I've seen, but I had someone it talk is, about it. It is really, it really nice rice. Moronji, no, 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 Yes, bagu sera gugu nyaka wawo bulo nyinyo, na yeba gugu sera. So, mtu wagamba mchere kwe Tanzania, people who have tested it know it. So, kati, bogama tugenda kutani kwa kubanga tu yengize mire, because now we want kutene ze ichi awa. Ah, ichi awa, no. Ngenda kula banti ate, abantu. There is going to be food shortages. Exactly, kati awo. We have to make a decision. Omuntu omuyala muzibu nyo wa kufuga. At least kwa omuavu. Zaka mbele omuavu nga ine chokulia. Na ate omuntu omuyala haba muzibu nyo. Because tata, tagenda kundia mwana wenga afinja langa wali wali mkufuga mpengoni. Kati hogena kulaba misangu, nga jiri kura izi. Nga haba biba, haba nga roba likese ziri wagulu nyo because everyone will be looking for survival. The amount of time in a government is a family year perishing every year. We have to have government came up with some some kind of uh, situation and yes, and uh, they are trying to help somewhere. So that about we have to have a way to get. We have to say we have food shortages. We ziri prices ziri wagulu. Nga hata biye tuli biye biyo. Being there, or was the war winds or Tulaz, but imagining our Bassaze over college. I think by now, to buy no Okuva, you again never saw me say, but Nachala, but Valima. Kubanga, Miss Omeji singer, what hurts me is Gibberam Campali, Taliban. Yeah, 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 that's true. Again, Akusanga or Agricultural, almost over about Tessa Gusena. Never saw a lot of affording again of Serena to live at no new. I will tell you, I'll, I'll give you an example to that. Last, last year, there was a, we, that same organization after had. Uh, and Africa, agroecology, mm. entrepreneurship, conf, convening, some sort of stuff. It was at the uh, speak resort to Mnyonyo. You see now. For, for a whole week. It was obviously, but for this, it was about mostly head of governments and ministries from around Africa. 
but it was peer headed by AFSA. So since it's based in Uganda, mm. the, the secretary is in Uganda, but it has offices in most of the countries across the continent. So most of the people who attended were also the ministers, the people who work in those ministries, even some uh, 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 government leaders were there, even president, I think there were like three presidents, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. But it was sort of more high end. So I, I, what, what I, I do not know is if those people really went down and taught their people, Avantu Avalima, the ones who are going look, these are the practices you must carry out. So I think that is true what you're saying. That I, most I, of the things happen in those AC conditioned rooms and it stops at that. Avantu Vake, then you have a breakfast. By this time, Bobo Gens and Wizzo convening, Simulim Kuliaka breakfast. You say, while you read the Kali Kali read them, you were too Kakabuma Gofana or Akapopo Kachai when you were in the way in Akatogo. So no sang at you, you know, you must discuss in the Kali TV by Debbie, Nayabi Komia. As in oh. information, yeri mumwe tefuluma tefuluma mu ababi mani era bisiget demu mumwe ate mumwe beni ni ababi mani temu ina temu temu li balimi temu li balimi nti businga ba ba kola convenings zizo neva zitu ala mbialo nevo gelo limiru aba antuabe yolwe ba tegera because ono gena ne science omo yiti di waba antuabe jabi tegera most of them zenga ba bwabo limu community yogere olimi olwo muntu olwagendo tegera to yogera science mu ayiti de muna chalo mugambe bwogula bono mugamba fertilizer ya tegera kutegera anti aina yali yako siza ko fertilizer mblambwe tachi tegera tachi tegera ko dala 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 anti yali yako siza fertilizer kati gwe mugambe ebijimusa bwo yogera ebijimusa bwa na example zo manyi tize basingo ko samwe che kitundu so kati abantu batandika e those priorities ebitundu buli kitundu kibera ne common common things bye bakozesa nga bye bakozesa ebuso katogenda bisanga mwankole nga bayina different kind of yes nga che bakozesa so yogero limirwa aba abantu lwe bategeera such that they know what exactly you talking about impact je kireta na ngeri kije bayinzo che walamu na even ebyo kubitola mu boardrooms ne mu discussing ebintu byamwe ne mu ne mu call recommendation ne mu call report si ne mu saba funding ne mu isa budget Vice budget ya utu genda kola wetu nebwe tuti ya bita kola. Nebikoma. Nebikoma hao nebali ya kasente kwa wene bage jembu tozipa komenu ya nechigwa. And now we are here tulina haka unga kale. Kainzo tulete rovu zivu. Kale mm. obaka lete doa abantu wa bala rovu zivu. Katina ange ya yali ya alwa doa uwe vidala ya katingenda kwe siwa kwa unga. <laughs> Tuba detuli ya kaunga njizo kewa kana bade ya kaunga kufabu ya kufabu to. Katuluwa aziza. But that this, this uh, report also has in Kenya, I want to buy from these things, the yeah. same aflatoxin. Well, I'm Kenya, I'm going to buy it from blocking. Buy it from blocking, that's all you have to Those are the same reasons, by the way. So apparently, uh, it was some time, long time ago, I think 2004, about uh, over 100 people in Kenya died from the causes of aflatoxins. Oh, wow. And, and even in Tanzania, in 2016, June, in one month, about over, I think, 20 people also. Die. also died from the same aflatoxins those from those uh, products mm. so you can imagine they have the, i mean it is tested you can see that there are impacts to this kind of stuff mm. it has been found and the funny part is what was found is not that it's a small amount the, the guys were saying what the toxins that are found mm. have been found in our maize is almost 10 times the recommended amount mm -hmm. apparently they're supposed to be uh, some recommended but ours is like 10 times more than the, the recommended. They recommended them. So you can see that obviously there's going to be more magnitude and more impact. So but between some sort of intervention regulation, this thing is going to roll over. I think I am to a There's no way we would set a it's just And it's everyone. They are children who go to those schools. Yes. And those schools give. Give up. Posho. Posho. So and it's the same. At least they don't segregate on which one goes to which school or to which and region. As it never happened to be called. Let us have one's Jakaunga. I cannot. Katibai na kuva you never to work a solution. Yeah, I think I think we need to to find a solution, it is just the only way. Uh, uh, the the Noza government has a sort of laid back so much and, and expected people to to move along. But the I, I think uh, Ministry of Agriculture, but the Tekoze Chimala, 
it hasn't worked to the expectations of the people. And it is led by someone who's, who likes speaking and news, Frank Tumwewe, who is an agriculturist, by the way, a very good agriculturist. Who is, he's a farmer, he's a, a, a pastoralist, he has those things, even his wife has. But Ogejakwe Sanganti ne kufamu ye. So he's not leading by example. Mm -hmm. So kati omuntu bwatyo kyangu nyo omuntu okubera nga avayo ne nateke komo ko bintu bya tali involved in. Obuzi bwetu funa ntio oso okwata omuntu no muteka mu kintu kyali involved nga bwana ayise ebintu ebimu mm -hmm. bigenda kumukoseza mu. Kati olwe nsonge eyo. Na sala wachi. Na sala wachi deka. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. bwachi deka agenda kuba akole emirimo jenge emirimo jitejiri badde wonawe bajitwe bajiono nedde mm. he atenga afunya amagoba. Na ngamba wa ikambire ke bitambulenga bwe bidi. Because bwana ava yona tani ko kuogera ku fertilizers atenga na yeza akosa ku farm ye. Ayogera ku bintu ebisinga na yebi akozesa. Kubanga is probably co owning a company that imports those things. Thank you. So it is literally his business. That's so you cannot regret against it. Business yeah. If anything, I'm going to end up spearheading laws that are going to have allow more of them to come in because I'm going to find more consent. Nzate ne unyanyo neva na ba igirizo kulima neva vya ati neva genda mo farms abantu already zili established neva igirizo abantu kulima uhalisi mo genda mo abantu already zili established already bo ba ina access to information. They have given you the information. This one is abused. No, no, no. Mugende eri abantu eri wansi. Where are you visiting farms? Is abantu zili established? Gendo wao mtu wali mukugeza koko standing out through agriculture. Omuyambe by giving them information, by guiding them. Na yewa ugenda kusanga kufamu ya Kabushenga. Mm. Nga jebali. Kabushenga, what does Kabushenga need really? Need really. Tewali, mm. already access ya information na jina. Baba inache ye tagachi, asoko lo chifu na. Na inga tewali uo mulimi ye masaka. Nga alimiyo kue kazi, nga nyana yenga inevi nitu ye tagoo kumanyanga tabi maji. Obo dosi, you see some other things are even more than the information. Because okay, tugenze wa Kabushenga, how Kaushenga has done mm. and how he has reached where he is, probably to inspire people to also join. But there are people who also need some enablers because there are things Kaushenga has used that another person cannot afford. Yeah. So that means you have to also create some sort of incentives oh, for people. Passion in yenga nga so, yina. Hey. so you have to, that means you also have to create some sort of incentives for people to be able to join that kind of industry yeah. or at least that scale. Because mm. our information on its own, it may not be enough. Because they are about to access to resources, be able to sing or Information is to gain that to gain it will flow. Mm. You put it on television, it's radios, they will get the information. But what will they do with the information? Mm. If they don't have the information. The opposite way to find is, the receiving and receiving thing at a solo kubuza. You cannot be sure that information is your mother's day so long. Mm. Mm. And if you are TV, you know you get a car, you know you saw a car, and you can get a car. But now, I'm going to say, 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 i I don't know where that's if that still is a fact mm. or we have moved away from it. Because now because people more people are even moving away from agriculture to urban areas to do funny funny stuff. Mutava from like ten or fifty acres of land in Niger Portem to go above the board. Because, because this is quick money. We haven't been interested to do farming. Now chimani and we to soma but to chai so kulima. Mugwe or Jacobeda or Molimi, so that they, yes, so they will make you hate farming mm. because if a two man in tea or Kulima Quabati, Bagua Ababantu Calabata, the failures of the failures, yes, about excelling a Valima. So that the old summer Bakute Baku, what day your negative negativity mm. towards farming. Mm. So that you know, Mutanaba and the ten acres are Jazivaco, Kobanga, Mzadeo, Navaza de Bafeveni. Mm. Okay. 
Yakuma musi ya for olingo yo. So that's a case of fila wele. I I think yeah I think we need government needs to do so much. Why now one uh, honorable Winnie Kiza mm -hmm. on hotline sometime last year. She mentioned a uh, country was it Israel, Egypt, the ones who have a system of is it kibbutz something like that. It's called I think kibbutz. So apparently kibbutz is like. Ngabu partitioning Uganda, no government, this region mm. will specialize in this, this region will specialize in this, this one will specialize in this. That way it creates demand across the country. But no, but but that it specialized in a particular thing. I'm talking to Gazega, Western, to Manetti, while we are going to you are growing particularly one thing, and you don't have anything else. Mm. So you will need to provide the market to each of those people who are specializing in that, but they will also provide the market for you because you're the only person, the only region that is supplying that kind of stuff. So I thought maybe the government could also specialize in something like that. So that way, it will become easy to empower the government. But many anti, for example, you a virus that is in bananas, you know which region grows banana, so you know how to cure that problem. So, but it, you also create market. Also, it becomes also easy for you to access and provide solutions to specialized, you know, problems that are in particular societies. So well, well, when you have a solution, I am single government, you can see that 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 you can see Nesengula kwa kugeza cha alutira ba neva leta neva teka o katieri ne eri mayo ne kola ya agriculture chuo na chebe ya gado kuteka yuko gunga buli yamu ba kuwa sente kusinzira kubugazi bwa weta weta gunga buli yamu ba lipangi sana aha katine government ya eri kole diko agriculture cha tegele kika anga chisubole acha one time sibuli monto alimieka hata nukuchumi na tika kwe bitoke bitano bali na tika kwe bikolo vya muani chikumi so yena gamba wewe ba gala kusimba muani ba ba joka abantu bonda ba ba funi ba 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 but Ungaba was sent, since the Kobogazi were wet tucker. Oh, I know, I know, Eka, Bakua sent it. You see, the ideas are there. Okay, ideas, the idea is over. Nayo of Banga Bakua de Chin to Chijamu, Muchin to Chichawalina. The Latin is the government of Vari was even yours and Kubu did not know Vari or Kuvari or Kuvari wing of Lala. So at the end of, okay, I I did not get the whole idea. Cut it to the heart of Pags is a foul of. No, a bang are your nuns and forever. Yes, forever. And then that would uh, just as much mean the government will own every land. Because it's the same thing. <laughs> now, government, uh, people live in a particular area, government will have a rich way. You know, you have a Never ever have I know Takataka, Gatabu without Tawisha Man, Tawisha Man, you want to change up to take a county of all the mere change to Nichivam Sainte, one only Sabbath. So got your bobo now, Babakunga, Baba take it somewhere, Babbling of a living gale. Now I was a sole saint. It is a good idea, but it has to be a time definition. You cannot say perpetually, it cannot be for the Kanaka to get to Gambe, but Jacob California, at least for ten years in Gaba in rotation. Yeah, that can work. He have a lot of again. Catogan to Molemo Coco, which of Mao, to Jacobanga, to Tanco discussing a topical discussion. Good morning. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. 
Are you craving for that special meal that will entice your taste buds and leave you with lasting thrilling memories? Look no further. Spice Island Bolenga has got your answer. Natural, fresh and delicious juice, the best meals. Don't miss our daily specials from Monday to Sunday. This is Wednesday. Saturday Pizza Bonanza, you buy one and take two. Come dine with us and feel the experience. We are located at Prime Shopping Center in Bulenga, Mitiana Road. For inquiries, call us on 07-04-11-1720. Spice Island, we treat your cravings. Looking for a pair of shoes? Let's Up Stores has a wide range of selection for unisex footwear. We have the best quality of all brands at pocket-friendly prices and we make deliveries countrywide. Just plus your order or reach us on 0772-080090. You can also check up at Let's Up Stores on all our social media platforms. Let's Up, craft your own footprints. Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk. Mulamko, a saw was it is Saturday, the Chicasatu Zoka, the Zakaita Sawaya Fe, it's your Chibash Torosha Fejakovi, program the Night Drive, it is a Mandi, and I was almost Zidia Vidi, Tulimo February, or Maka, Tulimo twenty twenty three, Monange, being Jagalo Que, Bazama Kesu, so I will go and go to Kerida every day of Tatkoa, Kuveri Jatata and Dikira twenty twenty, Paka Wanonga, we will show the four Zidaba. Thank you, thank you so much, Mukama Katonda, which was singer, Okwaga, that we got it do a co council. Kato to Massime to get a Kuanga Nai to get a moon, Lord of Civil Society in National Building, or Rosa Civil Society was no NGOs, Zikoze, Chimala, or Kulaba and Tiate, Zongera, Okuzimba, National Yafe, Obe, Guangalia, Fake, Mona Faria, Tulaba, Gazeza, Coco, Chin, Okchin, Nola Muko, Catanonio, or Solo Kuanga, or Tege Romola Magua Tulego, Ateno, or Vedemo position your commenting, or a Tesa, Ngeche to Tesa. Take a devil on Gino. Our cool laws are been a big and a mass of homosexuality. Baba and Bagabanti. Civil society organization is a zimu. Zeri mbise mkubanti zi ya mba zi wa nide dembeli ya bantu na yenga ate zi mkose so mkisa guno promoting homosexuality. So for you, do you believe civil society koze chama nyinyo kuzimbe guanga obe edisula? Just clarify one thing. Not together for Gera I just wanted to you are the one who likes speaking Uganda. So civil society means the tongue would even not chair. Thank you very much. Good morning, our viewers. I'm so happy to be here today. And uh, I hope we shall have a wonderful discussion. We'll come back from the weekend. And those who had the beautiful moments, I want to say welcome back, and that was a great for you. And those who did not have a good weekend, we, we say sorry, and don't give up. Mm -hmm. Just keep it going, and God will the see next you. Weekend the next be weekend good. will be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now, Roger, you can come in. Okay. Now I can say civil society since but again, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So our uh, civil society is, is uh, a, a very big uh, contributor to development. Mm. Because civil society is literally a representation of most of the people. Because government cannot have everyone contribute. Yeah. Civil society gives opportunity to people from everywhere to contribute, to contribute, contribute in nation, yeah, in mm. nation building. <coughs> so civil society makes or breaks because there are also civil organizations 
that have their own ulterior agendas. Mm. I, I, I am particularly not interested in that. But for I, I respect the fact that some other people out are there uh, are okay with it. I am not, but some people are okay with it. Yeah. And so there are also organizations that will stand in the sense of we are promoting the rights of people who want to identify as whatever they want. Mm. But they are, in, in, in the sense, promoting it the more. I was, I was watching, I'm actually going to share that, 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 that uh, link. It, is, it was an article uh, about a person. She was a lady in the U.S. Mm. She was, uh, uh, she's married to a, a, a queer husband. Okay. I don't know if they are called queer. Mm. I've, I've identifying as both. So th that woman had been working in hospitals. Ava choose the the biology of kids. Ava got to choose. Ava got to choose to identify as opposite sex. Exactly. So she had, she had been working with 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 an, a, a, a hospital. It was sort of an, in a setting of an organization, but also had a uh, hospital. Had the hospital. Yeah. And she had been with it for some time. But she realized over time that the, the agenda of the hospital was not that they are in, uh, protecting the rights of those people. Mm. They would not even ask for questions. Omana ya, ya janga, without, because if they are children, they, want, they have to get they the consent the of their parents. Yes. Even the, the hospital, in most cases, would not ask for the consent of the parent, but they would go ahead to do as that. As long as the mm. uh -huh. child comes, exactly. they if, would go if, on and do yeah, the If operation. the parents were, not, were against the idea, but the child wanted it, even if it went to the court, the hospital would be on the side of the child to just say they have to do this. They mm. just have to do this. Now, to it, now, it went <laughs> beyond just parents. protecting the rights of those people to sort of promoting it. Yeah. Because they were not looking at the consequences, most of the time, some of them would apparently come back and say, I want my, if they were girls, I want my breasts back. Mm. I want to go back to how I was, obviously after experiencing the problem. Yeah. But these people were not in position to address some of those things. So yes, there are some organizations are more promoting some, some agendas as opposed to really aiding the development. So I, I, I think it, it depends. So what forced her to come out and, and speak? No, what forced her was... She realized it was more than just a hospital mm. that, uh, I, uh, you know, I think she, she, she gives people what... She was conscious about yeah, it was what other about people were going through. Because she, talk, yeah, she, she talked about She couldn't hold it for She so talked long about it, talked to, to the doctors, the heads of the hospital, mm. and they fired her mm -mm. for asking questions, for questioning their authority. Mm. So that is when you realize that they are only driving an agenda yeah. as opposed to uh, being contributing to the contributing society. Contributing to the society. And I was watching someone, and they're like, it is not that we want, but it is something that is within. Someone was saying born, that it is in born. You no, no, it's what they are sad. Like, <laughs> you are a man, but you feel you are a woman. So that means that you are a woman. So that means that you are a woman. That is a mindset. It is a mindset. It is. And, and having that false consciousness that I am a man, I am a man, when you even, everybody can identify you as a woman. But, 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 it depends on what you want to do, what you want to identify as. <laughs> That's what I've already told you. Let me tell you, look. I, it depends I, on how you want to identify yourself. If I read that, we see you, you look like a woman, whatever you possess is... And then I start saying, I am... Is that of a woman and you want to identify as a man? Now what do we do for you? I we am let Mr. you identify <laughs> as, well as what Mr. you want to identify. <laughs> <laughs> From today, I'm Mr. Farid. <laughs> and you decide it, and then at the end of it all, you come and tell us sound. that this is in bone. <laughs> Look, so what I, happened when I, you are young? Were you identifying as a man? As but, well? do, but do you know that these, these kids grow up with such kind of behavior? Like, if she's a girl, she will not want to put on dresses or even skirts. She will want to put on some trousers. And, and because they are not gay, they, they grow like that. No, like, no, but that should, should not be a that should not be a yardstick of of bringing the whole idea that you want to identify as a man. We have had girls and men, actually most of, of, of the girls and the ladies, who have grown up, especially with uh, siblings who are boys, mm -hmm. they have spent most of the time with them. Mm. And most of the things they do are, are more like the ones that, that are done by boys. But a little bit old, most of them have not identified as boys. They still remain with them. But it is easier to influence them. <laughs> <laughs> 
those things but they in, influence in my, who is ready to be influenced at the end of it all <laughs> in, in my opinion those things just go back to preferences because uh, for example i don't it's like putting choice. on suits does it make me any less of a man no, no you are a man no <laughs> but i prefer not putting on suits it's just that thing if and that's your a, choice if it's a, it's a choice i, I just I, I feel comfortable putting on, putting on because of stuff mm. other than just suits. So, so, uh, should we say that a woman who, who likes putting on pants and not dresses should therefore identify as a man because they prefer, prefer to put on pants no 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 it is something that is growing do what you, is growing if i the first of all do you put on pants do you put on pants yes and yes so yes. You, does that make you identify as a man <laughs> If you choose to identify as so, we let you identify as so, and you will suffer your own consequences. But, but but that's the choice so somebody yeah. wakes up for and For example, in, in Africa generally, mm. uh, men don't grow hair. Mm. Generally, mm. traditionally. No, no, they grow hair, but no, they, no, the don't, hair of, they don't, of, bra- eh? they don't know, braid they don't their hair, hair. Yeah, but I they mean, grow I mean hair. It in a woman's sense. Mm. That, that sort of hair. Exactly. Men in Africa do not do that. Yes, but yeah, it, yeah. it happens in other, other, other worlds. Mm. Yeah. So should, should we say that a father that everyone who makes hair is, is a woman? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I think this thing, people just capitalize to want to build another thing. Exactly. Yeah. People have choices. People have preferences. I decide what I want. But it, it doesn't change who I am. So what exactly is influencing these young kids to join all this? Me, I don't know what influences them, but it is all about they are being a choice that they you are being a choice that you choose. Who, Sometimes it is not even misleading. Mm. Some people want to identify as such because that's what they believe in. It is like going to a restaurant, they give you a menu and you read and you say, I, I will have this for lunch. And Rogers will say, no, me, I will not have that, I will have this. This is a choice somebody wakes up and takes. And like I have already said, if it is another taking that choice, some things are natural. We you let you make a, a decision about it. You cannot choose. It. So who have stopped can, them can, from identifying as such? No, let, me, let, me ask about you, natural... let me ask you, Kato. Yes. You are probably let's assume that your height is five seven. Mm. Can you wake up and feel like now today from moving today on I, I feel like five four. five? <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that? No, you, you, you are making me things. No, it's this because this is natural. You have no control over your the height. Example you are, the same the example you are control. trying to bring in this discussion doesn't fit you. <laughs> doesn't qualify in that kind of setup. No, what, the, my I give you an example of, of a menu in a restaurant. When you go to the restaurant, they give you a menu. They tell you, you have matoke, posho, rice, and meat, and you, you fish. Have, and you have a choice of decision. Farida there. will choose fish. I will choose maybe goat's meat, and Rogers will choose maybe mm. beef. Caro or something. Or, or dinat. That's mm. a choice that somebody will say. That is, there's a provision of choice in that sense. Yes, that's This choice. one is natural. And there's no choice. There. Who, see, what makes me, it natural? What you, makes it natural? When somebody it decides. It's something natural that I cannot run away from. Like, baba bachi wuli la muli mu. It is something <laughs> I cannot fight. So, I will not say Baba Bachiwuli. I, I am not because trying because I haven't been in that right so that I experience. But I am just saying what they. Nangesi But I say, I say, if somebody chooses to identify as such, we let them identify. It no, is like even the minors. No, no, no. Because Adas, now, because minors cannot can, cannot decide for themselves. But now they are to schools. That's where we, they go wrong, and that's where I I, I want to go against them. But if it is two adults and they decide to choose and identify as what they want to, let them identify as such. It is like now, where people actually who are not involved in gay and homosexuality choose to go for polygamous marriages, choose to go for these funny, funny videos they post, uh, mm-hmm. like, like, like brew movies and the rest. Mm-hmm. Now should we stop the same? Because those are immoralities, they should say. Where adults mm. choose to identify and do use their Whatever bodies as they want to do, I have no problem with them. The problem comes in when they want to involve the minors who cannot decide for themselves, who cannot choose between what is good and what is right. But we let them identify as whatever they want to identify as. And when somebody tells me as I as identify as a man, I will always refer to them as sir. man. I will say, sir. <laughs> What do I lose at the end of it all? That's the choice you choose. Mr. Farid. That's the choice Mr. Farid, I was saying. <laughs> to go with. Now, how do I take away your choice? <laughs> maybe if we, if at some point know. we realize that maybe the reason why you decided to identify as such was maybe under influence, 
Hmm? Mm. Maybe somebody first you into that, or or maybe you are mentally not okay. Then then we shall take away that one. But where somebody is very sober, conscious, understanding, and they take that choice, that's their choice. You let people I, I, I agree use with their that. bodies yeah, as yeah, they, yeah, they no, my want. No, my problem, be. mostly, especially in regard to this conversation today, is uh, uh, promoting particular things instead of just providing a, sp a safe space for people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in, in, in some role as civil society, I think sometimes we miss the point. <laughs> we want to promote what we feel as an organization. Mm. Yes, yes. And we want to true. put our agendas out instead of being as just a safe <laughs> space and, and an advocate of what the people themselves want. Mm. So I, I think as organization, just to move out from the discussion about mm. <laughs> homosexuality <laughs> and the likes, people will make choices. They can choose whatever they want. That is their decision to make. But I think civil society exists to advocate for things people themselves put yes. out as such as they want. That's true. Uh, and the basic major role of civil society is to advance the will and the interest of, of the people. people. Thank you. First of all, the people must choose this is what we want and this is what we believe in. And the role of the civil society is to help them in advancing and getting what they believe in. This is their will. But most of the civil societies come with their own interests. <laughs> they come with their own interests and they want to bring their interests to us. They believe in, but someone will not give you money those funds come with with strings attached ogenda kola chino ne chino ne chino the next time you apply, they don't give you the funds yeah. because you didn't work their expectations. So yeah. I think Banuba funders, Baina Nabing, Jeba Buziza, civil certainty. Okay, to Jacob, to a target center to survive, but still, it's all yet was sent. Naya, you know, the issue is that you take a cover donors. Sijaji take a cover donors issue. Issue Jaji take a civil society. Because if a donor comes with these interests because at the end of it all we want to take a call ngabagamba we need people to apply for this call but, but take a call terms and conditions mm. Mm. we want people who believe in this people who believe in this people who can do this and the aims of this grant all this support is to help us achieve a b c d so if you don't believe in what this donor is actually providing as what their interests are in mm. why do you go ahead and apply it means because by the I time you the go money. ahead to apply for that grant or that money, you're interested in serving the interest of the donor. No, I am interested in the money of the donor. Uh, no. <laughs> no <they laughs> but the money, money that has... I am actually attached. hoping that yeah. I'm going to use part of the money to advance <laughs> my, interest. my interest as a person or as an organization. But, uh, but, but as you're advancing your interest as a person and organization, then they are also the interest of the donor. And at the end of it all, you must account for the money they gave you as a person. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. See, it, I, I think it is also two, two it is two way. Mm. It is two way. Uh, the donor might have their conditions, yes. but uh, you need to do something also feels like I have to compromise at some point, <laughs> accommodate their interests and drive mine. I think that is what Farida was also trying so, to say. So, so now, at the but, end of it all, do you go ahead and blame the donor? No, it is two way. It is two way because for you, you have bent your, your, your yes, standards direction and direction because somewhere. you want because I need some money that is going to be But But we are also losing that. I think, but also the role of civil society is just more than that. Mm. Some of it is to negotiate on behalf of people. Some is to aid the well-being of people. Mm. Others is also to negotiate the people's will. Mm. Yes, and that we have had some organize. We have some organizations that have actually worked so hard to, to amplify and lift the, the standards of living of, of the people. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm? Mm. the organizations that have helped people to develop from one stage to another. Mm. Mm. But we have had also, and we have organizations, organizations. that are also building the 
the, the founders, are they called founders or directors? Mm. The individuals and the workers, somebody starts an organization and the employees there are all starting from the sister, the daughters, mm. the, the sons, they are all their yeah, benefits. The and at the end of it all, you ask now what is this society, society organization that you are doing? What is it doing? At the end of it all, it is all about making reports we did this we did that. and you why did you do it from? about making money eh? well I'd have yes no most of them are money are money making i would ventures. have no problem if friends and relatives are qualified to do what that organization does but the issue comes now on qualification no that's i think if they are qualified <laughs> but in a situation where are not, <laughs> people are wrong. not content with what the government is doing what is the role of the civil society to, to, uh -huh. to make sure it, it comes. Civil society the should side with the people. If the people are facing the high prices of commodities, like in this condition, mm -hmm. then the civil society should be on our side. But because most of these civil society leaders are contented and they can afford, most of them want to decide with the government because they don't want to be compromised, they don't want to be suspended, and they need their licenses to be uh, renewed at the end of the expiry term. Most of them want to keep quiet and say, instead of coming and siding with the oppressed, ah, can't see the case. and I wait when they renew my contract because this is uh, like a way they are always getting the money from the donor. Mm. Because if you are not qualified, if you are suspended, then the donor funding will also stop. Yeah. And the whole incense of this civil society organization would be siding with the people and also helping them to advance their voice to the concerned people in this case, who are the government. And when we talk about civil society, most of the people out there and most of us think that we are only talking about NGOs, CBOs, uh, and the rest. But, but, business, by the way. but we have business that qualifies to be in the civil society. We have the churches. What is the role of the church now? So when you talk about the conditions that are set by the donors, do also these are uh, these churches also given donations? Yes. Why are they silenced like that? Personal donations from, from <laughs> but those are personal Liga. and they benefit an individual. No, but no, can I have a bucket to use some? Can no, can no move on to those are. Katigo ka isa mo kateka ko. Does it go with conditions? In case that donor, katuga be a believing in good democracy. Is it the same? <laughs> <laughs> at, at the end of the day, well, there's, there's, there's uh, an institution on its own, mm -hmm. having its own goals. But, but uh, generally, it, to me, looking at the civil society, there are different directions. There's representing the interests of the people, mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily always have to be about the interests of the people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, they have to balance. There, yeah, there are some issues that people are not comfortable <coughs> with, but the government has put in place as a measure. That we were talking, for example, about GMOs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There are chances that people will want GMOs because they provide a, a, a quicker output. But, but they, there are impacts they are not to that. looking at the impact. Uh -huh, there are impacts to that. Time. So in that sense, well, it is also about sort of the interests of the people that they do not know. So they said you try, probably going to now work with the government to make people understand that, look, we are going to take this uncomfortable direction mm -hmm. because it is going to promote a better result opposed to what you have. What you have is temporary. What the government is trying to bring about is permanent. So civil society has to, it is it's like a broker. It is in the yeah, middle is, of government. It's a broker. And the yeah, people. and the people. But it doesn't mean that You're they, here. the civil society organization have to, at all times. It doesn't have on, to be on any to side. To be on any side. Yeah. And this is where most of them go wrong. You see civil society organization coming up and supporting the programs or all the roles or the policies that are brought by government and which most of the public are against. And themselves, personally, when they go out of cameras, when they go out of the boardrooms, when they go out of the conferences, mm -hmm. they will say that, look, this is not a good idea that we should be supporting. But what do we do? This is factual. They will say, what do we do? Oh, it was a lot of the end of it or cut over But when we go out, we shall also talk a different story. That's where we go wrong. Things are like and you have heard it so many times. Like motivational speakers, they'll tell you one thing. <laughs> My brother, do not look into their life. <laughs> they are totally doing different things. And they will say, because we are paid to motivate the people, we have to we tell them have. and give them hope. But they know what they're going through. But given a situation, let's, let's say, uh, particularly here in Uganda, as the civil society, what are the expectations of the people? To me, I will say that uh, I will give it a 40, 60 percent. 
and okay. and for Why the reasons are you 40, 40. Mm. most of these organizations like i said are aimed at I'm preferring the interests of the individuals. Either the the fourth is interest or, hmm? or against? Yes. You, you, you not, have not classified the, the fourth percentage. Fourth for the is, interest of us, the people. Fourth is that they have worked to the expectation. For the people exactly. and the sixth yeah. is and for sixth the government. Is, is no, not even for the government. Okay, against. Sixth for, is against <laughs> the interest of the people <laughs> and what they are supposed to do. Most of them. Most of them. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at the way civil society organization were involved in the issues and interests that were pro people mm. in, in the early 2006, seven, around 2011, around there, before we had so many NGOs coming on board, and most of them don't even know what they were they are interested in. But because there is a funding, what they are meant to do, they don't know. <laughs> because there is a funding that is given strictly and directed NGOs. Most of these people have started their own NGOs. We have had people who have been in management of certain NGOs, but after utilizing and, uh, and using its money up, and because they have the connection, they have the contacts, they have mm. the support, they have the knowledge, mm. we have seen them leave this organization to actually collapse and start up different and small, small NGOs for the the way that they want to use them to get the donations. Mm. And most of them you have, you can, you can ask so many. You go to the NGOs and ask, by the way, you started this and this year. This was your mission. This mm. was your goal. How far have you achieved your goal and objectives? Most of them will show you reports. You see, we, we, we petitioned this, we did this. You did, and you ask, what happened after the petition? Was your aim to petition and stop it at that? Because you have seen them in courts of law, especially when those who believe in, in good governance, rule of law, when these most of activists are arrested. Mm. The first day where the, all these cameramen are coming in court, you'll see every NGO has, ha, having a representative there and they want to talk on camera and they have the energy. Yeah, but, but, we are here for the accused. Yeah, we are here yes. and we are supporting because uh, uh, we believe in we the rule of law and the courts <laughs> must be operational according to the rules and the constitution. But when it's for the second they time, stand in the court will be empty, <laughs> not even a single representative from the same institution. But because they want to have uh, a link on a website and they want photos uploaded on the website so that they can uh, prove value for money. And no, I don't know if it all, that's not value for money. Mm. But when they get that image, when they get Farida talk about them, yes, we are happy that when we appeared before court, uh, a certain NGO was present, a certain NGO was present. They want those video clips yeah. so that they can popularize themselves. And say, you see, we are working so hard to promote the rule of law. Mm -hmm. But on the second appearance, nobody will even turn up. <laughs> they don't even want to know where that case went. Mm -hmm. Because you have had so many petitions in the constitutional court. But the only day you'll see these NGOs appearing in civil society is the day they are fighting and when they are seeing all these cameramen are present and they want to make those comments, they want to make it look as if <laughs> their petition will be heard tomorrow. And you look after 10 years, nobody has even ever talked about it, and that's how the cases die. After benefiting, after the benefiting, so most of them are just aiming at benefiting the individuals and the critics that are surrounding them, but not the interests of the people, and maybe fulfilling the objectives and the goals as why they were started. Mm. Uh, uh, to me, <laughs> the question was to, to, what, to what extent yeah. to what? <laughs> has uh, civil society uh, filled the, expect uh, is it filled the expectations of the people? Mm. Uh, not even of the people. Uh, how have they actually got involved? Or oh, done their role. <laughs> or done their role. Let's, let's do, keep it at that. I'll, I'll, I'll give a 45-55. I, mean, I want to add some 5% <laughs> to, to cut us. And, and here are my reasons. One, the truth is, one, what, some of them it will depend on uh, the sector they are part of. Yeah. I, I will take, uh, I'll t for example, the organizations that are in spaces of rule of law, that kind of promotion of human rights and stuff, you, you know how, how, what, how, what they go through yeah. themselves. <clears throat> so I am adding the 5% to know that it's some portion of their lack of delivery is attributed to the environment that they are a part of. 
that they have been stifled. The, you, I mean, we have been a part of that. <laughs> you have had the experiences of being in that space. So I think I, I want to attribute some lack of delivery to the environment that it is. Mm. The other part, uh, the lack of delivery also has also been, I think is what he was talking about, uh, having the agendas not exactly being about promoting a particular thing, but just wants to identify as a professional in this. Mm -hmm. So you are called <coughs> upon every now and again, present, get some command, <laughs> yeah, and, and move home. on. Yeah. <laughs> and then move on. Goes. Some people are just like that. They just run organizations for personal gains. Yeah. That, is, that is a fact that is happening around. But, but uh, he wants to give some uh, 55 to doing. Mm. 45 is that they are not they are serving. Not delivering. Yes, 55 is that they are <laughs> delivering. Because uh, let me tell you, when you look around the organization, <laughs> there, I mean, every person is like, you're even laughing because you know. No, no I, is going to point you. for us like three or four, uh, like, see what's that? Yeah. 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 <laughs> why do you get the spot? But, but <laughs> this is why I'm giving 55. Mm. That uh, at least they highlight the issues that are going around. Now, if you realize some of the civil society organizations are in the area of research, there are people who are going to say they, there are issues, for example, if it's about in the tax regimes, yeah. they are going to throw a light on that and say we are losing on this, we are earning on that. So they have provided information. Mm. The civil society are only about information provision that they are telling the people and the government, they are helping the government to deliver some information, and so they have done some sort of stuff uh, to that extent. Obviously, yes, there is a uh, big constituent of people who still ha have no access to some information, mm. as some of the organizations obviously are also limited to particular regions, but I, have, I, have, I think they have also tried to do... Uh, so it, literally in every sector now we have an organization. Mm. In every single sector we have in agriculture, we have in the uh, rule of law and human rights, we have in like taxes and the economy, we have civil society in every area. We have we environment. Have so, uh, those people have tried to highlight some of the things, and you have time and again seen activists come out. <coughs> and those activists obviously come out due to the information they do get. Obviously, some of them will make research depending <laughs> on their own interests, yeah. but there are platforms that have been provided to them. The civil society, as the organization itself, may not have done so much as to make a change happen, but they have also provided some platform for someone to, to begin and maybe drive towards a point of achieving that goal. So I'm giving more percentage to the effect that they have tried to shine light to particular things. If an organization, for example, let me take a, an, an example of like um, a, a <laughs> chapter four, for example, mm. they may not necessarily drive a law that is going to abolish a particular <coughs> practice in the rule of law and human rights, but they have given, shown a light they have given, given a hand to a, a lawyer who is in that area. They have given a hand to an activist to say that they, they have an ally in their corner. Yeah. They have done something. They may not have achieved exactly the, the whole thing, but they have given some sort of milestone in the direction to that. So they have contributed something. So I'm giving them more because they have shown that like they have led the but the even region. when you are giving them more the 60 percent you should be clear I'm that it is not to all of the organization the civil no, no, society not organization. Size, yes. you can identify and them them even on your fingertips <laughs> and you say this has done this has done the organization that you have not even heard about and they have existed for over two I years. Agree. That's true. So, <laughs> That's true. That's yes. true, And they, are, oh, they appear in conferences and they are given a microphone. They will talk about the organization. I am the ED here. I am mm. this and this. I am the communication. I am the production. <laughs> That's <laughs> where the, we have the story will end. And, we and you ask, for where are these organizations in whatever we are going to? You will not find them. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, <coughs> so, 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 what should uh, the, these civil society organizations be doing towards uh, uh, contributing to nation building? Like, by in quality, what should they be, uh, <coughs> they be able to do that? They be able to do that. nation building. Yes, thank you so much for that question. You see, we have had, and Rogers highlighted it, that mm. most of the organization have identified themselves and the sectors they fall in. Mm. And because this organization, their role is not to sit in their offices and enjoy the nice AC and the rest. Even the research they are doing must be a research that is founded mm. by mm. examples, founded by facts. Yeah. And when we talk about these examples and facts, I believe that the 
research they are making about a certain issue that is affecting maybe a group of a region or a group of people should be based by facts and from the same people that are facing the crisis. Mm -hmm. And after getting the facts and getting all this information gathered together, then it should be presented to the government or the relative uh, the, actual, concerned, the yeah. concerned group it's, it's, of or maybe call it a ministry, maybe call it parliament and the rest. So that when this parliament or ministry is planning for a certain region or a certain group of people, they know that these are the problems this group is facing and how can we resolve this problem. Because at the end of the research, they will make recommendations. If the problem is maybe a lack of clean water in a certain region, what are the solutions that can recommendation that I, 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 you are making as a civil society yeah. that can guide the proper planning of this ministry or this mm -hmm. government. So most of these organizations and the problem they are facing is that they will even give you a call at night. They will say, Kato, tomorrow we have a research to present, but we have not done this work. And we had six months before. Kato, what do you have here? Just give us <laughs> the information you know and c c gamble around and come up with the research paper. Mm. You see, mm. and these are the things that are factual. Instead of going to the regions and the s sectors they have identified that solve the problems mm. and getting the facts and maybe make recommendations that will help a certain region, mm. this is what they should do. Go make the fact finding missions, reach the people yeah, that are affected, get the first hand information, not even mm. from the, the secondary sources, the primary source, so that it can guide the uh, implementers, it can guide the planners of this government so that we can identify. After identify, then make recommendations that will help in solving these problems. And that's how we shall uh, develop the civil society that we shall be proud of and maybe improve the standards of the people and the regions. Roger, to say to Okay, to me, I, I think, I want to first ask a question before I ask. <laughs> mm. <laughs> who, who regulates civil society? Like, it depends, well, it depends well, on where you fall. Na, na it depends on no, where you fall. If it's an NGO, it has the NGO bureau. If it's you the CBOs are the, also governed by the The kind of world. regulation that NGO forum, for example, does <coughs> is, is it's mostly about qualifications and maybe the leaders and stuff like that. And accountability. So, so, we don't... We don't, we don't licensing, NGO bureau. Then you are regulating. Yes, because they have the issue of accountability. If you received 100 million and it was for this, how did you use that money? Mm -hmm. You see, the, the regulation happens uh, in your, that example you just gave. Mm -hmm. The regulation works in the aftermath. But when <coughs> most of the organizations are being founded, mm -hmm. I do not think we have a body that scrutinizes to say how experienced are you in this field? What is the problem that you're coming to cure? Mm -hmm. What is the time you think you should achieve that? It, 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 and, and what are the tools you're to, going to, to use? To answer that, Rogers, it happens, but it happens to a few organizations. Because you know the whole problem and the system that is full of corrupt officials. Some, some organizations have been started by a mere phone call to a relevant mm. person. And nobody wants to even find out who is behind this organization. And there are some organizations that have been blocked because maybe they don't have the qualified people to fit in the area they want to, to, uh, yeah, to, yeah. to, to work structure in, and yeah. specialize in. But some of them are a mere phone call to the person in office and they say tomorrow we want that certificate out and it will be out. To go back to my discussion, <laughs> what, what I, was, I, was, I, was, I was trying to say is the reason why I ask that question is <clears throat> some, it is possible that uh, to the extent that some civil society has not delivered might be attributed to the lack of regulation and direction when those organizations are beginning. Mm, that I agree. Yeah, that when it is beginning, so no one questions the one who is starting the organization, what their agendas are, and how authentic those agendas are, what and how to hold them accountable. Yeah, yeah. they are still fighting the same thing. And then I am asking, why are you not achieving? Why, why? It's probably a work in progress. Why are you not achieving? But that one is a child marriages and early 
pregnancies in girls. I think the problems it should be attributed to I don't know, is it the approach or the method is used? The methodology. Then you are fighting as an yes, yes. You cannot you identify see, the There's the a reason why I'm saying the methodology I, 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 and I the approach they are taking. <laughs> <laughs> the methodology <laughs> and the approach they are taking. Because if you are trying to fight against are marriages, are pregnancies in mm. girls, mm. who causes the pregnancies? Isn't it the boys? Mm. Yes. Who, Roger who, 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 no, who facilitates the early marriages of their child? Is it the parents? Have you involved these people in identifying and telling them the problems that come along when you force your child into early marriages? Have you brought the boy child on board and say, look, this is your sister. If you are pregnant her today, you will have lost her future. Have they? Their That's focus why I'm is on girls, 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 girls. And can this I, is where we go wrong as a civil yeah, society. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can, can I defend you? Because if you keep on <laughs> using the same method and the same <laughs> approach, then you, see, you cannot can't, expect can't, can't, can't different you. answers. The example you picked is particularly a, a hard one. Because here is the reason. Mm. The thing about <laughs> the women and marriage and stuff has more, gra more grounds in society than it is in the people who work against it. So <laughs> it is possible that the stalling of the process of uh, reaching the destination of that uh, advocacy is because the society as a whole has, was grounded on these things. Mm. You know that back in the day, a 13 or 14 year old would get married off very well. But with who no forms the society? Is it the it is all of us, the people. Exactly. <laughs> that is why I'm saying it has probably taken so long because it is so much work that you have to change the society as a whole. So it is some give an example of the 1880s. First That's wait, how many let, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> First, let me tell you. What I am saying is this. I do not disagree with the fact that some of them have failed. But their failures cannot be attributed to their lack of work mm. for that long. Their failures can also be attributed to the society as it is. One, especially in that area that you're talking about. Mm. But there is also possible that someone is just not doing uh, the enough work or they are doing the same things. And yeah, I picked that results. as an example. Yeah, that is, that is, that is possible. Mm. But it is not <coughs> fair to entirely uh, dep uh, depend their failures on, 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 on their uh, not Methods. doing enough. <laughs> it is also fair that we give them some benefit of yes, that. Yes, and I give them 40% of their achievement. That's not doing that. Uh -huh. So now, back to the question that I asked. <laughs> <laughs> back to the question that I asked mm. on what we can do. Mm. The society, civil society has to do and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. One, I think, is uh, <coughs> about the regulation. We need to have some bodies, non-partisan bodies at that. Mm. That 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 okay, regulate so yes, yes regulate the civil society foundations to say that you're founded on these uh, values. This is why this is these are the people who are spearheading. If you're a research-based organization, I don't understand why you would have a, 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 a school graduate just do that. They have to be someone, yes, someone who has been in that field mm. to be able to spearhead. You can have these people to nurture and help you in the process of research gathering, mm. but there has to be someone who is very informed on a particular issue yeah. to be able to speak ahead. If you don't have that one, I do not realize as an organization you're going to achieve and deliver on that particular issue. Mm. So I think we need institutions that are so, sort of in, in the direction of, of, of accountability and yeah. regulation, yes. And mm. especially that are non-partisan. Because we have seen organizations <coughs> closed not because they are not competent, because they are not serving. Because they are at some point they are with, the, with some interests with of government. particular individuals in government. So I think that is one of the reasons. So I think to make civil society better, we need to have regulatory bodies, independent regulatory bodies, that scrutinize the intentions of civil society that are being founded, making sure that they have the resources, they have the capacity, but they also have the expertise. Mm. to pull off what <coughs> it is they are trying to represent and bring about in society. The other thing is, is also to uh, civil society is try to, well, this is more on the side of government, really. Because <laughs> even if you want to work with government, if what you're working on is something that hits on the heads of the interests of some people in government, it is, they are still going to close Sad, you. Yeah. And you're going to fail to deliver because <coughs> there are people who are going to be on the step against on the way, your, yeah, against your, your work. So I think it's also, it also goes to government to understand that civil society is not an enemy of government, but it's something that tries to, 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 to check the <coughs> works of the government 
towards the people because the government is supposed to work for the people, mm -hmm. not for themselves as individuals. So civil society is supposed to do that, and the government should give them that mandate that is due to the, uh, uh, as far as their uh, impact is concerned. So it is, it is true, the civil society itself needs to do so much work with the regulation, but too, the government also needs to give them space to do the work they're the supposed, work they're to, be supposed doing. to be And also, to, uh, another thing is that some organizations, uh, what we began with, that they are also doing their own interests. To, to have civil society do what it, it says it is doing. Mm. Not beginning on one thing and shifting over time. They need a check-up mechanism. Because they, yeah, exactly. Because they, you, and you realize along the way that, that, you, are, that you are on the wrong, yeah. <laughs> wrong side. And then you have to change. <laughs> and then you change to another objective. <laughs> it's also possible, yeah. It is also possible. <laughs> a lot of organizations are doing the same thing. So you should that start. means you did not do <laughs> Mapping, you did not do enough research <laughs> to begin with. Before you started. So you should not have started in the first place. That's what maybe so. could happen. <laughs> if if you came specifically for a certain area and you have achieved in that area. The and then you feel that has then you feel that time. one has been exhausted. Uh, then you, you, you can been. change that. <laughs> <laughs> if so that you, you can also tackle a different day. You cannot say you have tackled something and it is done. You have finished your work. The country, <laughs> the country has changed. That now problem you move no longer exists. Hey, uh, uh, that cannot happen. <laughs> no, I it do happens. Not <laughs> it can't happen. No, yeah. no, it might not happen, but it, the, the percentage is my good now. Exactly. That means, but you're working towards eliminating <laughs> a particular vice in society. So, when so if it has reduced, it has not gone away. Yes, when it reduces, mm. even the funding that has been coming in to fight that particular vice will reduce. have reduced. So now you... you you don't find any, any importance so, of so doing and, and we so believe by so now you shift <laughs> and we so believe that at that time of reducing the rate uh, then you have empowered so many people you have to also it means join you have into fight. Uh, so, and so, you, you so have even when you're out the people that you empowered and brought to, into the system of fighting that vice will can be continue with the same <laughs> to, I, I just said to zero it to <laughs> just said one thing i realized there are no more funding <laughs> <laughs> now you're changing not because you have uh, solved the problem because the funding has also changed twist <laughs> the funding has also changed twist and you know this organization, this organization <laughs> cannot, can ca ca cannot survive without funding let us say you expand but not change. <laughs> I do not believe in changing because you cannot solve a problem completely. You can only expand, adopt some more areas <laughs> that you feel have, under, have been underrepresented, but you cannot neglect the thing that you began with because then... Because they have not, achieved every, not, every, every yeah, just uh, And we success. talk about this yeah, issue. And so you expand, but it doesn't mean you have entirely moved away from this mm -hmm. one. I would say you expand, <laughs> but changing is, is very hard. <laughs> It's very hard because I do not believe you can entirely erase a problem to start and it, 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 it vanishes, it is done. It will never happen again. Nanti always on anti solar kuvao when when the percentages go down now that is a success to me. Yes, it is so a success. So I am I'm saying I had, I have achieved that, so let me tackle another problem. Uh, and to also <laughs> add maybe to also add we have had civil society organizations that have existed for so many years mm. that have ex experience in that realm. Mm. So they should also come and empower these young and new. Uh, now, now the problem is competition. So That's now, where the problem comes in. Zeno but Farida, if we are all aiming get? at achieving, maybe uh, a government that believes in democracy, maybe rule of law, and we have so many prayers in that field, what do you lose? Because at the end of it, all we want to fight it and come up with something that is no, good the for problem everybody. With so many of you, some of them will be relevant. Now, because of them, because most and of the of organizations are money-oriented, but that's why we go wrong. And that's why I started saying, but most you. of these NGOs and civil society organizations start with different intentions. Not even the intentions of helping the people that they are siding with, but to help themselves. Mm. Because if we believe in, for example, fighting corruption to zero, in Uganda, and we have so many organizations coming up to help in the fight against corruption. Why would you feel that I am a competitor because we are fighting the vice that is affecting us as a country? Then it means you have your own intentions, and your intentions are not to fight corruption. Mm. But to say, we have organizations that are even in different fields. Mm. So what stops, for example, I will give an example of Chapter 4, yeah. to support a, a new organization that may be has interest in fighting for the environmental rights, climate change. 
because they have the expertise they know the operation no, 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 and the methods now, what, what, so what or, or less example njagala chapter five yo egambe genda ku supporting street lawyers yes exactly Ooh, they will not but they will feel this one as potential competitors they must competitors and shall we achieve the interests of chapter 4 we are giving it as an example or shall we achieve the interests of having a country that believes in the rule of law and democracy good government when we have the different prayers thinking that some of the new prayers coming on board are competitors then it means you have different interests at the end of it all ngabo maliriza ngabo maliriza i believe as civil society organization we still have a lot to achieve and and minus removing this pride of we are the first in this yeah we can do it better than these ones mm. then we shall not achieve more but let us have these organizations let us have these individuals that have experience also come up to support these new organizations that are coming on board and they are leaders so that they also get the expertise that you have as individuals and an organization because i believe at the end of it all we are all looking at having a better society yeah. it doesn't matter on how many prayers are in that field mm. but as long as our aim is streamlined and straight on point that we want to have a society that believes in, in, in good governance democracy and the rule of law and having the rights of the people respected then we shall achieve thank you rogers <clears throat> Uh, uh first thank you very much you are there talking about <laughs> having more organizations now so I was waiting for my turn but we are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your turn as well you can give a yeah, comment, you can give but, but, comment don't say we you have side line but, but to me honestly speaking okay it is okay to have more players mm. it means you can cover much bigger field yeah. but i also have an issue with, with having a lot of people doing the same thing most of them are just will just be relevant So uh, uh, I mean that that depends. No. That and, depends. And, and we have organizations that are based in the central. Yes. So what happens when you help an organization that is based in, in the western or the northern? In the, okay. Well, we can, we can <laughs> look at expanding the work so that we do Roger, and it's done. How many people can access chapter 4? I don't know how 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 chapter 4's reach is. I do not know how it, it's geographical reach. Actually, na bamwe mayuge yote ba manyeti jeri. But 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 generally okay, to look at civil society as a whole like today's discussion was mm. the role of civil society in nation building. I think we should uh, focus more into having a, 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 a distinct cause that we are representing. You can be in the same field with chapter 4, but you can have a particular issue that only is representative of you mm. that chapter 4 might be doing the same thing but you have a, a particular distinct thing mm. that, that stands mm. you out mm. yeah that stands you out so that at least we have every corridor of at least maybe the rule of law mm. tackled if it's about constitutionalism it's about the rights of women it's about the women, rights of children and youth and stuff mm. like that mm. everyone yes, has yes, 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 human rights are blood and and in whatever we do on a daily basis Roger doesn't agree there is an interest <laughs> no, there is something that is related to human rights and freedoms and we believe if we, See, if our rights are not respected no, let, me, too. let me tell you the yeah, truth every person who goes to law school with one thing mostly uh. i want to represent the rights of people most of them if you ask them first years it is and thing. if they give you the examples so, of and the reasons why they went to law school you find that there is some it's element there is some element that rights. maybe triggered their minds mm. maybe they faced when they were young or maybe their parents or maybe uh, something so okay. they want to come and cover up that gap mm. most of them yeah i i, I okay i'll not do that but but <laughs> first of, to, to, to conclude, ah, to conclude. Is, uh, i agree i agree i agree most people most people do law really because of human related issues most yeah. of them they just specialize along the way realize i have more interest in this direction than mm. i do in this mm. well there are enough people for this one so i can try to work <laughs> can try and do this. so about this like you said there's no harm having a lot of people doing it <laughs> you said <laughs> <laughs> now you agree <laughs> so we come a bit there but uh thank you so much for the discussion <laughs> uh, for the people who are in social society i think we should strive more into making sure that we we are informed in the area that we present It is one thing to have the passion in a particular issue which is yeah. not a problem but it's another thing for you to have the knowledge to pull off the cause that you go, you are going out to represent so i think as you have the passion try as much as possible to get the experience to get mm. the information the knowledge so that you are able to deliver in the field that you're saying you're representing 
with that, my name is Roger Suyabu. Thank you so much for being with us today. All right, on Kede Kwebu, Zeninga Baba Fagani Walagawa. <laughs> Baba Zaye Fagani Stani, did they marry them off? Baba Kuchala never found Baba Saja never was a, where did they go? They are probably in a few settlements. Baba take and take it. Did you Baba take? No, no. Baba take and take it. They might have been in a few settlements. But, but... Anyway, okay. this is an issue we should dig, dig ca into. Ca countries earn so much from refugees, by the way. <laughs> so, it, it might be, we might have them for humanitarian reasons, but also economic reasons. <laughs> but I will not explain that. So, <laughs> 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 yeah, they might not So, if we have, we have not seen them go, we assume they are still around. <laughs> Of course, the country would want to brag about hosting refugees and, and you know, stabilizing them as the country stabilizes them. Of course, you would know. <laughs> I have a feeling they still are there. No, they are really and yet to me. Move and develop a balloon. You can never mind. Tujamufuna <laughs> Alternative Dig Talk. Real issues. Real talk.